really got it. Yeah, I'm not quite accustomed to this uh, large of a crowd, so bear with me. Can you get some guys to sit down rather than stand up and the long Alright, so we have Chase, Ryan. Chase, what made Brandon push so much stuff? First half. I haven't watched the tape. I mean, when you're in the thick of it, honestly, it's just uh, everything happened so fast, and he made plays, and ultimately we didn't. And that's what football's all about, making plays when you need to. And so hats off to these guys. Did they do anything in that those first couple series that sort of shocked you at all? Or? To be honest, I'm not really sure, you know, like where they beat us. Um, I'm still kind of confused. I came in the locker room and I looked around. I'm just, you know, I was kind of confused, like how we lost that game because I didn't feel like they had, they had dominated us in any facet of the ball. Um, but like I said, ultimately they made plays when they needed to, and uh, that's a credit to them. And that's what, like I said, football is all about. And uh, they limited the turnovers. They only had one, and we were unable to capitalize off it. Uh, we had a lot of penalties, and. Uh, Jeff, did you have a question? I did. What, what happened on the, uh, the late hit? So I asked the ref about it, and I didn't necessarily agree with this call because I was rushing from the left side. He's a right-handed quarterback. He told me I hit him in the back, and that's why he called it. I'm not sure you know, how that makes any sense. But hey, I, I don't agree with it, but that's you know, his call, not mine. And uh, so we learned from it, move on. Was it as physical a game as uh, you guys expected playing it? For me, uh, like I knew going into this game, like for mentally, like I was not retreating. So it was not the physicality that was like the hardest part. I think it was uh, the first game uh, for me, at least, and I think other people feel this way, is always the toughest because no matter how hard your camp is, that first game is never, you know, is always tougher. And uh, I feel like maybe they, they did a better job adapting to it and uh, we took advantage of, of our lack of, I don't know, whatever. Not, not being prepared enough. I, I gotta watch the film. Over here on the right, Kyle. What is like the mindset? I guess in the long run, I know you guys put so much on this game, and kind of geared towards like a, a proven game for Michigan. What was the mindset? This is my sorry. Uh, this is my personal take on it. Uh, you know, I, I came back to Michigan. I can't speak. I'm not. You know, I haven't talked to every person in the locker room. But you know, there's an expression, you know, take the island by burning the boats. And for me, it's like I came back um, and forego, you know, forego the draft, if that, if that makes any sense. Um, and for me, it's like uh, I got a mission to do, and I'm going to do my best to influence them in that way and let them know that, you know, I think it was like 13 to 16 teams that made the playoffs had one loss. So ultimately, everything's still on the table for us, and there's lessons to be learned. On the right, Angelique. Case the other day, maybe it was a week ago, you said this game would, would indicate the trajectory of this team. Can you, maybe, maybe that's not what you really meant? Yes, I mean, I, sometimes quotes don't age very well. <laughs> 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 and uh, it's one of those things where I, if, if there's anything about the trajectory, I'd say, you know, we were battling out there, and sometimes things don't go your way. That's life, that's football on the road, Notre Dame, under the lights. Just gonna move on, and we're gonna keep battling. I, I think the trajectory is, you know, we're coming together in the, in the locker room. It didn't seem. One thing I did note was there wasn't a lot of blaming. It wasn't like uh, pointing fingers. The defense still feels like, you know, uh, maybe going into the game we had, a, you know, some different expectations. But at the end of the day, you know, you give up 24 points uh, or whatever. What did we give up? 24. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, uh, it just puts a lot of pressure on your offense, and it's on us. Back left. It's been a lot of talk to camp about um, how, how, from your guys' perspective, the offensive line has looked different. Um, were you surprised at all about the way that they kind of performed it? I was so focused on trying to survive out there. <laughs> it was a doozy. So for me, uh, I didn't pay much attention to the offensive line. I just know uh, I know they're working hard. And just like myself and everybody else on this team, we got corrections to be made. And I'm sure they're, they're a well-coached group of individuals. and. They're going to be sure to make those corrections moving forward. In the middle, Will. Did you guys feel unprepared defensively the first I like couple the hair, years? By the way. <laughs> Yours too, man. Thank you. It's a little messy. It's yeah. a little naughty. Did you feel unprepared defensively over the first two series, maybe? I didn't feel unprepared. I just I, I felt like it was one of those things where you come off the sideline and you're just like, you know, uh, for me, it's it kind of like 
know, I don't know, you know, where do we go wrong? I didn't feel like they were they were dominating. You know, I, I didn't feel like their presence was overwhelming to us. And they just they made plays and beat us. All right, Adam. Obviously, a lot of changes on your offense. Your defense brings back a lot. I mean, how much pressure do you feel to kind of lead this team until that offense establishes more? I felt like uh, I, I definitely feel you know that pressure. That's just the way it's kind of been. If you look at it, you know, from a factual standpoint, it's kind of kind of been a, a defensive-led group the past couple of years, and the offense is going to come along. Uh, offense is, you know, I'm sure you guys uh, can agree on this. Is is you know, defense, you can get a bunch of good athletes and, and fast people, and you could have a coach, and you could blitz, and you know, things work out. But for offense, like, e everything needs to be in sync. And, you know, we've had to overcome some adversity with Tariq, and, and we're still figuring stuff, some stuff out on the offensive line. And you can point at a lot of stuff. But they're going to come along and be just fine. Uh, you know, you saw glimpses of it today, I think. Chase, you mentioned that you – didn't feel like you got out play, but they hung three touchdowns up on you in the first half, but they didn't do it in the second half. Was there something tangibly different about the second half from the first half? And that's why I said I just I felt like, you know, second half, I think we more few, you know, we kind of found our groove a little bit more. But I, I you know, this might be a hot take. I don't mean it to be. Uh, they're a great football team and stuff, but I, I just didn't feel like they dominated us. Uh, I just felt like they, you know, they, they went up and, uh, you know, some 50 50 plays. And, yeah. There, someone's angry. Uh, I got one or two more questions. Yeah, just schematically, they just uh, they did what they had to do. Chase, you had a couple big plays defensively, Kalik tackle for loss, but Brandon, Brandon Watson, not only special teams, but the interception. Can you just kind of talk about what you saw from some of the other guys on defense? Like, is it, I'm sorry, is that a personal thing? Or well, I mean, for, for you, I mean, you had some big plays tonight, but I mean, Kalik had uh, yeah. tackles for loss, and Brandon with that interception. What, what did you see from for, the other guys looking yeah, at For me personally, I, I don't know if I could have hit him anymore. I, I, I felt like at some points I was pitching a tent in the backfield. Um, I think I had eight or nine quarterback hits. Um, and for the other guys, um, I, you know, coming up the sideline asking them what they thought, um, I, I felt like everything was, you know, talking to the people. Uh, defense, it was, you know, there's always a sense that uh, we were still in control, and, and uh, so we, we didn't falter, and that's a good sign, I think, for, the, for things to come. Is that kind of a sense of, I don't know, relief or confidence that you guys still felt like you had some control there despite everything happening? And I think it's important to know. I think that's different than last year. I think last year, uh, you know, things went went array. You know, that's, you see it in the South Carolina game. You see it at other points where I think you know things kind of you know went astray and um, you know we had kind of that mindset last year i think they could have really done some damage on us you know look at penn state uh, and this year i think it was opposite i think like you know we had given up some points but we had come together and we you know we uh, we regrouped and, and went back out there did what we had to do trying to give our offense the best chance to win yeah, that's why I said for me it was it was probably personally I'd say you know my most tiring game. Um, at one point, you know my my groins cramped up. Uh, it was uh, a terrible feeling. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna move Chase out and we're gonna bring in Andrew Thomas.